Hey everybody, and welcome back to Guinevere's Studio. Today I'm going to show you the painting process of a small painting that I did of a shiny candy in a metallic wrapper. This video is going to be a little bit different than my other time-lapse videos because when I was recording it, I guess I didn't realize that the camera wasn't in time-lapse mode. The first part of the video is just sped up regular video, so this way you can actually see a little bit closer what I'm doing as I'm working on the background. As I start to put paint on the canvas, this is really where I get to decide what color the background is going to be. I started out with a pretty neutral tan color and then decided that I needed to cool it off a little bit, so I went back and repainted over the first part. I also saved you a little clip of the sped up audio because I was streaming to Twitch at the time that I was recording this, so I have a little sample that you guys can listen to to hear the speed at which I am painting. I don't think I'll be very soon. That'd be good, actually. Maybe I'll have to uh, work on that. Although I have quite a list of things. I'm actually, I thought that when December hit, I was gonna have some free time and be able to paint what I wanted. But, you know, paint something different or something new. And uh, my gallery in Seattle is already saying they want another piece. So, which I find surprising since they haven't even gotten these three. So, I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little bit pressured. Because I do have a show, I have a big, you know, kind of important show next August that I haven't really done anything for. I have one painting that I could put in that show. So I really am gonna need to, like that one I have to fill a certain wall space. So I'm really gonna have to get work, working for that one at some point, sooner rather than later. And um, I'm not super excited about it, but uh, I have to, I'm gonna have to muster some excitement for it because it's important for the careers for the long term. I don't want to back down on something I said I would do. Sounds like somebody's had a little bit too much caffeine. Now you get a better understanding of how sped up the video is, which also gives you a better understanding of how slow the painting process actually is. So even though it's sped up, you can see that it still takes a little bit of time to get the color out onto the canvas. I regularly post pictures on Instagram of paintings that I'm currently working on. Check out in the video description for a link. I'm sure you're probably asking why I chose to paint this shiny metallic candy wrapper. And originally it just started out as a challenge. I just wanted to challenge myself and try to do something really shiny, intricate, reflective, you know, things that might be kind of hard to accomplish and make it look real. Here's a little taste of real time. I didn't speed up this little section just so you could see what it looks like if you were watching it live. And at this point in the painting, I realized that the camera wasn't on time lapse. Oops. So I decided to go ahead and put it on time lapse. So the rest of the video will be at my normal time lapse speed, which is one shot every five seconds. One of my favorite things about doing this painting was the reflected light coming off of the candy wrapper. So it made these really cool highlighted areas on the foreground. I always work putting the shadows in first. So I go through and I do all the darkest areas first and then I sort of build up from there. I worked on this candy one section at a time, so I just went from left to right. The key to making this candy look really shiny 
is using the colors that it's surrounded by. So the wrapper is reflecting everything that's in front of it. So there's definitely going to be some of the foreground color in the wrapper. Another trick about this painting is all the little details. Getting each little crinkle in the wrapper, I had to use my smallest brushes pretty much most of the time when I was working on the candy. Sometimes I wonder if I'm nearsighted because I focus so much on all these teeny tiny little details. And I just can't help it. I've tried telling myself, all right, I'm gonna go loose on this next painting, but it just doesn't happen. I get focused on the details and it's really like I start to disappear and just look at the shapes and look at the colors. This type of painting definitely requires a certain amount of patience with your painting process. I feel like I have a different relationship with time than most people do. Once I start painting, I really don't worry about time at all, and I have a hard time paying attention to the clock at all. If you've watched a few of my videos, you may be wondering if I have a really severe sweet tooth. I actually don't at all. I don't eat any candy and hardly any sugar. So why do I paint candy, you must be asking yourself. Well, it's really more about bringing back those childhood memories and the carefree days of being a kid. I'm sure that we all wish that we could go back to being a kid and not have to worry about everyday responsibilities of the adult world. So I like to make fun paintings that remind me of those carefree days when I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. This painting was the first I did of these shiny candies. I do have a couple more on the way. I painted this painting for a show at my gallery in Carmel, California. It was a miniature show, so all the artists painted on the same size panels. They had a really good turnout at the opening and this one sold on opening weekend. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when I have new videos.